Bhagavad Gita, text 4.35 Having acquired this knowledge, you shall not be deluded again, O son of Pandu. For by that knowledge, you shall see all living beings in terms of their common spiritual essence as one with you and abiding in me. In this verse and the following three verses, Krishna details the glory of spiritual wisdom and the result of acquiring it. Here, Krishna tells Arjuna that having acquired wisdom, he will see all living beings, such as his friends and relatives, assembled on the battlefield as one in terms of their common spiritual essence and not in terms of differences arising from bodily identification. Baladeva Vidyabhushana says that Arjuna will be freed from the illusion, moha, that he must kill friends and relatives. Vishwanath Chakavarti Thakur comments that Krishna's use of the word mai in this verse means that Arjuna will see all beings as effects of Krishna, the supreme cause. The fruits of acquiring transcendental knowledge are listed herein as first, knowing the common spiritual essence shared by all beings regardless of their bodily appearance, second, never falling into illusion, third, understanding that all souls abide in Krishna's all-pervading Paramatma feature, Vishnu. Here, the eternal plurality of all souls is posited, while for the first time in the Gita, the individual soul and God are brought into juxtaposition as Krishna further develops the text's theology.